Hello class, we're now doing section 4.4 and in 4.4 we learn how to solve exponential and logarithmic equations and basically there are four types that we're going to talk about. So let's look at the very first type uh, which is my personal favorite. Um, we want to solve these equations. First of all, read the instructions, okay? Solve the equation by expressing each side as a power of the same base and then equating exponents. Okay, what does that mean? That means this is our goal, what I have written here. I want my equation to look like this. The same base on each side and each of them has an exponent. Okay. If the bases are equal, then the exponents have to be equal, right? Or else they wouldn't be equal. So, when I look at number one, I have 2 raised to the 1 plus 2x power. And what I want to do is rewrite 32 as 2 to some power. So 2 to the 1 plus 2x power is equal to 32 is the same as 2 to the fifth. Once the bases are equal, then I know that the exponents have to be equal. And I solve that equation. That's a very easy equation for you guys to solve. So I'm not even going to do it. And you have the answer key. Number two. Four raised to the three x plus five power is on the left hand side. And on the right hand side I have one over two fifty six. So my goal is to rewrite one over two fifty six as four to some power. Well I know the power is negative, And I'm pretty sure it's four to the fourth is two fifty six. Who's somebody with a calculator check that out. Okay. And now, once the bases are equal, I equate the exponents. The exponents have to be equal. And again, I just have a linear equation that I solve. And I'll let you guys solve that. Number three is a little bit more complicated. This time, I, I could write 8 as 4 to some power, or I actually could write 4 as 8 to some power. But instead, we're going to break them both down and I know they both have a base of 2 in there, right? So I'm going to rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So I know 4 is 2 squared. And here 4 was raised to the x plus 10 power. On the other side, I see 8. I know that 8 is 2 to the third. And here 8 was raised to the x minus 6 power. And our exponent rules say base raised to a power raised to another power, multiply your exponents, right? So now I have 2 to the 2x plus 20 is equal to 2 to the 3x minus 18. And now my bases are equal, so I equate the exponents. And again, I just get a nice linear equation to solve. That's not bad at all, right? Okay. So that's the first type of exponential equations. If the instructions are specific, like they were at the top, that you have to rewrite as the same base and equate the exponents, that's the way you have to do it, or I will not give you credit. Okay, because the reason I'm going to be so picky about that is because the second way to solve these uh, always works, no matter what. Okay, so the instructions here say, Solve the exponential equation. Express the solution set in terms of natural logarithms. Okay, that gives you a clue. And what I have written here is the rule that we're using. If I have an equation, any equation, something equals something, x equals y, then I can take the natural log of both sides of the equation. Remember, I can do almost anything I want as long as I do it to both sides of an equation. And I can, in fact, take the natural log of both sides. And that's what they mean by in terms of logarithms. They also mean don't touch your calculator. We're looking for an exact answer. So let's look at number four and see how we would do this. Okay, so the first thing on number four is um, there is no easy way to rewrite three as two to some power. So we know that's out. So this is where we have to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. So if I take the natural log of both sides, I'll have the natural log of 2 to the x plus 8 equals the natural log of 3. 
And now, why would I bother to do that? Well, because I can now use the properties of logarithms that tell me that this exponent of x plus 8 hops down in front and becomes a multiplication problem. So I get x plus 8 times the natural log of 2 is equal to the natural log of 3. And now you continue to solve it. On this one, I would divide both sides by the natural log of 2 x plus 8 is equal to the natural log of 3 over the natural log of 2. And then last, I would subtract 8 from both sides. So I would get x is equal to the natural log of 3 over the natural log of 2 minus 8. And this is the form we want your answer in. Okay, That is in terms of natural logs. You've left the natural logs in there. You could get out your calculator and get a decimal approximation, but we don't want you to. Let's do number five, which is a little bit more complicated. Okay. This time, the first thing you have to make sure is that you just have a base with an exponent equals a base with an exponent. Okay. If there's something more complicated, we have to look at other methods. Now, four and five do not share a common base, so we know we have to take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of 4 to the x plus 4 is equal to the natural log of 5 to the 2x plus 5. And remember, part of why we want to take that natural log of both sides is so that we can use the properties of logs and those exponents come down and become multiplication. x plus 4 times the natural log of 4 is equal to 2x plus 5 times the natural log of 5. And now we're solving for x. Okay, so this is just like a bunch of other problems where we've solved for x. So first we start by distributing x times the natural log of 4 plus 4 times the natural log of 4 is equal to 2x times the natural log of 5 plus 5 times the natural log of 5. Okay, now we sort. Anything that has an x is going to go on the left. Anything that doesn't have an x is going to go on the right. I'm going to do that all in one step. And you guys should pause and make sure I don't screw it up. Okay, so that's what I got. I got x natural log of 4 minus 2x times the natural log of 5 equals 5 times the natural log of 5 minus 4 times the natural log of 4. Okay, now that my x terms are all on the left, I can factor out the common factor of x. Is this sounding familiar? Remember we did other problems like this where we use the same steps. And now that's x times something, so to isolate x I divide, and I will get x is equal to 5 times the natural log of 5 minus 4 times the natural log of 4 all over the natural log of 4 minus 2 times the natural log of 5. And that is your final answer. Okay, so that's the second method for solving exponential equations. Always read the instructions carefully. Sometimes we're going to ask you to leave it in terms of natural logs. Sometimes we're going to ask you to get out of your calculator and get a decimal approximation.